everyone and welcome to the first video of my wedding series wedding bells um, in this video I would like to show you guys how um, I put together a wedding binder that is hopefully and most likely going to help me keep organized in um, planning my wedding which I will be doing um, myself um, I am a year out, so I have spaced out all the planning accordingly, and um, I really hope that this video helps you guys. I have watched several videos myself on um, DIY wedding planners, and I've kind of taken um, information from the videos and have incorporated my own um, information as well into this video so I really hope this helps you guys um, in creating your own binder because I think it's essential um, if you if you are planning your wedding on your own so um, I would like to start by letting you know what you'll need I guess and you will need a binder and it can be any size that you guys want. Uh, mine is a two inch binder, so it, I think it's two inches. It's on the bigger side, and um, I just know I'm gonna have a lot of paperwork to add to this thing, so that's why I went with the bigger size. And I had it laying around already. Um, it's not something that I needed to purchase. Um, you'll also need post-it notes, pens, highlighters, um, tabs, dividers, um, and sheet protectors. And I've also seen some girls use, um, card holders. They're kind of like the, um, sheet protectors, but they have places for you to put business cards. Um, those are neat as well. Um, you'll also need, um, your computer because there are a lot of, um, Printouts that you can find online on, on Pinterest of um, pretty much everything that you need for your binder. I will link below the document that I used. Um, I didn't use it all. I just printed what um, I was personally going to use. I didn't print anything that I wasn't going to be any use to me. So you can always just customize your binder um, accordingly to how your wedding is going to be, whether it's going to be um, a destination wedding, a small wedding, a big wedding, um, whatever it's going to be. So what I did was um, go on canva.com and I created my own template just to have a cover page for my binder um, and I just personalized it with our last name and then I added um, this wedding cake sticker to it just to give it a little touch and then I also created another cover page to go um, on the front of my paperwork and it just has our names and our wedding date and then right after that I have a contents um, page which I created myself and um, the reason why I feel like this is going to help, it's because it tells me, um, it lists all of my dividers and then it lists um, what's in my dividers. Um, so I'll go ahead and go through each divider and show you guys what I have in each. Um, but I think this really helps just in case you forget where you put certain paperwork. You can just refer back to this um, and I'll let you know. And then right after that, I have um, a printout of the attendance. And first I have the maids. So I have their name and their phone number. And just for security purpose, I have that covered up. And um, I also want to add their email. I think email would be a good thing to add um, just for larger files that you're not able to text, um, you can just go ahead and email them to them. So I need to get their emails. And um, speaking of email, I also created um, 
a separate email just for our wedding. Um, I mean, it's really simple, so and it's free, and your information that way your information doesn't get lost. So that's why I created a separate email for our wedding. And the next page has the groomsmen, and on um, same thing, it has their name, a place for their name, and their um, phone number, and then I'll go ahead and add their email. And then goes my first tab. My first tab is um, the reception. So my reception and my ceremony venues are actually two separate venues. They're not in, at, they're not going to be taking place at the same um, location. So for my reception, under reception, I have a rough um, list of guests. Um, this is when we first started planning our wedding. We just wrote down um, anybody that we were going to invite. So this is just a rough draft of our guest list, which I have transferred onto an Excel um, worksheet on my computer. And then I have the itinerary for the day of the wedding, starting with the ceremony, which will be taking place at a Catholic church. And I just um, went down and wrote out um, all the things that are going to take place um, the day of the wedding and then I kind of roughly estimated like the times and then I also have a sheet um, I had some questions for the venue that we were going to choose and um, I took it with me and they answered my questions so that's also a good thing just write down all the questions that you have for your venue um, in advance that way you're just better prepared when you go um, to meet them I also have the contract to the venue that we chose um, so I won't be showing you that but um, and then I also have a packet of um, that the venue provided us with all the, their information so that's it under reception and then I have the ceremony tab so like I said, the ceremony will take place at a Catholic church. So under this divider, I have um, their information up of the ceremony site. So their address, their phone number, their contact person, the officiant, the date um, of the ceremony, obviously the wedding date, um, the time, the time we have to be there. Um, and then the worksheet also provided some items um, that they recommend you not to forget um, for the ceremony. And I crossed out things that didn't really pertain to us and then I added things that did pertain to us. And then I printed out the um, sheet for your vows. I mean, you don't really need this sheet. You can just use any blind piece of paper, but I printed it out anyways. And then also um, a diagram of the traditional lineup, um, which also includes seating. Under reception, I also included the information on the rehearsal, since rehearsal is going to take place at the church. Um, I just put it under the ceremony divider, and then um, it includes information for the rehearsal dinner as well. As well. So it has um, your guest name and if you sent them an invite or not. And um, in the sheet protector, I keep the book um, that the church gave me for all their requirements that we need for them. And so that's what's good about these sheet protectors. You can just throw things that you can't really um, three punch hole. So also I have um, their contract in here with the receipt, um, which is also a good thing for these. Um, it's good for receipts to so just throw in there and you always have them on hand. And then other documents that I needed um, for the church. My next tab is attire. And under attire, I'm just going to have um, information on my attire, my husband's attire, and the bridal party's attire. 
um, which is going to include the location, the phone number, the address, um, the consultant we talked to, um, prices, the date we ordered it, the date they're um, promising it, bidding appointments, and all any information that has to do with um, attire. Um, also, it's going to include my accessories, which are the veil, undergarments, stockings, um, garters, slips, shoes, jewelry, all of that. All of the information will go under here just to keep everything organized. And then the sheet protector, I have some business cards of um, some boutiques that I would like to go visit. And the next one is invites. And under invites, I'm going to have anything that has to do with um, stationery. So save the dates, the wedding invitations, respond cards, thank you cards. I put postage and a guest book. Um, they had announcements on here, napkins, uh, matchbooks, programs. But I will not be using any of that. So I just crossed it out and, again, put what I was going to be using. But... Same idea here, um, their address, telephone number, the salesperson, the date they were ordered, the date that they're promised, um, all of that information can go under this tab. And then um, it also had a page for um, any wording that you want to put on your invitation, so kind of like a place to take notes. Again, you don't need to print this out. You can use any lined piece of paper, but it came in the package, so I just printed it out. The next tab is probably one of the most important tabs just to keep um, track of all the expenses, and it's the budget tab. And I went on Excel and I created a um, budget plan, and I pretty much just put all expenses um, on this Excel um, sheet and I put um, an estimated um, cost and then as I'm purchasing things I can put the actual cost and then if anything needs a deposit uh, I have a deposit um, column and then I also have a book date, and then I have if it's been paid or not, and then any notes um, that I have for that specific item. And I have this on my computer, so every once in a while I'll go ahead and update it to my computer. My computer um, automatically adds up all the numbers, so I have like a total at the very end. And then I started um, adding miscellaneous items that were not on my list. Um, on the actual um, Excel sheet, but I it was getting kind of messy, so I just started to note it on a lined piece of paper, and I just put what store I, um, I did my purchase, the item that I purchased, and the price of the item. And um, this was kind of a rough draft of our estimated cost on pretty much everything for our wedding and this also came in that packet in that PDF that I will link below and under the same tab I have a sheet protector and I keep all of my receipts in here pertaining to the wedding um, how I've been keeping track of that of them is by um, as soon as I get my receipt I'll write wedding at the very top and that way I know that I don't have to go through all of my receipts and figure out which one was for the wedding and which ones were not for the wedding um, that says wedding at the top I know that it's wedding related and I'll just throw it in here um, after I add the the price to my Excel sheet um, this has been working wonders. I've already had to do a couple returns. So when I had to do a return, I'll go to my binder. I'll go under budget, into the sheet protector. I'll take out my receipt, go do my return. And then if it still has items um, that I've kept for the wedding, I'll go ahead and put it back. And um, yeah, it's been, that system has been working great for me. 
In the next tab, I have the checklist, and this checklist is from the PDF, and this is mainly why I printed out this specific um, packet. It's because I really liked their um, the way they had their checklist and what and how detailed their checklist was. So, um, like I said, my wedding is almost exactly a year out. And um, so it has a list for immediately after your engagement, six months before your engagement, four months before, three months before, two months before, a month before, two weeks, one week, the one day, and the day of the wedding. So what I did was go through each item and I crossed out everything that did not um, pertain to my wedding. And then after I crossed out everything that I didn't need, I went ahead and checked everything off that I had already done. And after that, I added stuff that I knew I had to do in like each specific time. And then I also moved things around that I knew had to be done um, sooner or could have been or could be could be done later. Um, and I highlighted important um, things that had to be done and I will show you at the end of the video um, that I moved it onto my agenda my personal agenda just to keep track um, so I know what I have to do month by month because I had initially printed out um, a calendar that I made um, but it's easier to just pull out my personal agenda um, and to keep everything on this calendar. Um, so I'm probably going to get rid of this calendar. But if this calendar might work for you instead of keeping a, a separate um, agenda. Because I know it's kind of a lot to carry a binder and an agenda. But um, it's not a lot for me to carry around. So I like to just keep my separate agenda and have everything, um, all my dates in my agenda rather than have them in the binder. Also, the thing that I like about it is when I'm with the vendor and um, I'm on my personal agenda, I'll know if a specific date, if I'm available on a specific date. Um, on this calendar, I wouldn't have like doctor's appointments or anything like that um, written in these um, pages, so I wouldn't know if I was available. I would have to refer back anyways. So I think it's easier to have the agenda on hand. The next um, tab is the just a notes tab, um, basically to keep ideas and and just little notes. And I keep all my lined paper in here. And my last tab is the vendors tab, and and under this tab I actually have. Um, a separate set of dividers just so I can keep um, my vendors separated. I didn't want to just have them clumped underneath one divider. So the first divider um, I'm going to have um, probably anything related to beauty, so hair and makeup appointments um, for myself and my bridesmaids. So all, any of that information will go under this tab. And the next tab um, is the music tab. And under here, I'm going to have just anything that has to do with entertainment. So um, I'll have the DJ and any bands that we're going to have. And um, also, we might have a caricature, so I might add them under this tab as well. And my next tab is decor. And under decor, I'll have, well, anything pertaining to decor. So flowers, all the flowers, um, including like the bouquets and the boutonnieres uh, and the corsages, um, cake table, um, the centerpieces, sweetheart table, guest table, Anything that's decor will be go under here, um, including if I have any um, rentals, like if I rent out chairs 
or um, linens, anything like that will go under this um, decor tab. And just like all the other um, others that I've showed you, um, it has a place for their address or phone number, the salesperson, um, pickup dates, return dates for rentals, um, uh, for flowers, delivery dates, time and place, the description. Um, it gets pretty detailed, so that's what I liked about that. The next will be the cake, and this will be um, for um, desserts as well. So I am thinking of having a crepe station, so it will have the bakeries under this tab and all of their information. Um, so same thing, the address, salesperson, telephone number, the date you ordered it, the date they're going to promise it, the price, delivery information, um, and all of that. I believe this is the last tab, and, and this is um, photo and video. And under here I'll have anything that has to do with photography and videography. And what I liked about this um, printout is that it... Um, had a checklist of specific um, portraits that could be taken um, before your ceremony, at the ceremony, before the reception, um, after the reception, and so I had a lot of good ideas. And I already spoke to a videographer, and he said that this would help a lot if I um, gave him specific moments that I wanted. Um, um, for my video or for my photography. So this one's for the videography and same thing, telephone, address, um, the name, the price, um, what you wanted to be videotape, rehearsal, pre-ceremony, ceremony, reception, and a place to take notes. And then this is just a list of videographers and photographers, um, that I am gonna have to research, look more into. Just it's a list that I've started of um, people that have stuck out to me. And then I have a um, sheet protector, and I have a whole bunch of business cards of different um, videographers and photographers that I've met. And so yeah, that's it for um, my binder. Um, it's. Um, it's pretty organized right now. I haven't had to meet with any vendors, but I know it's going to help me, um, at my meetings and my appointments with any vendors that I have to. It's just going to be, make it easier for myself and the vendor themselves. If they need information on the reception, I, it's already in this binder and I'll just, I'll just have to go under reception. If the photographer needs to know something about the church, I can just go under ceremony and I have all the information on the church. Um, and I just need to carry this one binder where I keep all of my wedding um, information in and just, um, it'll just make, it's gonna make this process a lot easier and when it's easy, it's gonna be fun and that's what it's all about. Um, your wedding, even though I know it's probably going to get stressful at times, um, I want it to be enjoyable. I want to have fun with it, and I don't want to stress over every little thing, and I think being organized is very important for that. So let me quickly show you guys um, my personal binder and how I moved the checklist um, into my personal um, agenda. And what I first did, my agenda didn't have um, the months um, noted. So I went ahead and just took little tabs and I, I um, put a tab on each month and then um, noted each one. So um, I can go to September and from my checklist, um, I knew what had to be done at what month. So in September, I, well for this month, I know that um, I need to choose my venue and uh, make an appointment with them. 
and then I also want to get a list started for um, for vendors and how much that budget's gonna be. And then in October, um, the venue definitely needs to be booked by October. Um, I have to register for um, the church requirements. Um, I have to do a deeper research on photo and video so I can book um, a photographer and a videographer. Um, I have to get a mail list started or an email list started. And in November, I know that I have to um, hire a DJ and a band. In December, um, I have to, I am going to make my own save-a-date, so I have to start making the save-a-dates um, in order to mail them out by January. In January, um, I have to mail out my save-a-dates, order invites, um, order the guy's suits, and order my dress by this time. And none of this is really concrete, like I don't have to order my dress in January. It's just um, to keep me on track with time. In February, um, I have to compile a music list for the DJ. Um, I have to research hair and makeup, also research a florist and um, a crepe station. In March, I have to book hair and makeup, book a florist, um, address the invites to mail out by April, and um, look for cakes, or look for a cake. In April, I have to mail out the invites and um, book the cake. In May, I don't have anything for May, so I might have um, stopped there. Yeah, looks like I stopped in May. So um, again, I'll just go back to my checklist and then look to see what has to be done um, at these months and then just add it to my agenda. So yes, I really hope that this video um, has helped you guys and has given you um, a push or motivation to create your own um, binder. That way it fits um, your style and your wedding. Um, I know that there's um, wedding binders out there that you can buy. Hobby Lobby I know has one and there's a ton online, but you don't really have to spend the money you can just do it yourself. Go online and print out a PDF that's already um, there for you that has great information on weddings. Um, print out what you need, leave out what you don't need. Um, just make it your own, you know? Um, so I hope this video um, gave you information on how to um, stay organized um, with your agenda and your wedding binder and um, congratulations on your wedding and I'll see you guys